Alright, we're finally going to be going into the SS Libra. What mysteries await us? Let us find out. Alright, so you go in here and you'll see a box. Pretty much these are just block pushing puzzles. Push it, and then walk over here. Now this is really fun. If you fall off, you have to actually, you know, push the block out of the way, and then go from there. So just walk slowly. Do not run fast. It does not stop you from falling down at all. So grab that, find one iron. You got that there. You can't hop back up here. No, you have to actually push this block back. You have to push it back. Push it this way again. And expect to do this a lot more later on in the same ship. I don't know why they decided to even design the ship this way, but they did. So, hey, whatever. Let's walk slowly. Finally, we can continue on. Go up here. Fire extinguisher, it's useless. Uh... This kind of looks like an item almost, but it's not. It's just, you know, some weird... What is that weird purple gloop? What's that weird purple stuff anyway? I'm trying to figure out what that even is. You see a cutscene. <laughs> After all I do to get here, we let one way on us. Is that right, it's not signal? Oh, yes, indeed. Such a lost opportunity for it was obviously rare, if only it had been caught. Why, if you caught it, Gorgon, your collection would have been enhanced by 0.7%. Such a disappointing loss. It took off because you made such noise, Gorgon, sir. I heard that! You putting the blame on me? That's blatant insubordination! I'm in the foul mood today, not playing foul, foul, foul! Today of all days! Oh, Gorgon, sir. An intruder. Oh, that fool snottle had to screw up! Let someone at this outsider get in here! Our recovery plan's done, but we can't let you go! Not after you've seen us here! Hey! Yes, sir. Teach this little boy a thing or two about pain! Aye, aye, sir. You can leave everything to me. You can be assured that the job will be done when you return to the lair. See to it! Well, now, you heard the man. I must get back to the lair, too. You know what to do. Wait a second! That's not what you said! Allow me to explain. We have a crucial job at the lair. We need to make shadow Pokemon from those that were on this ship. You do agree that this is indeed important, don't you? If you were to do the job, you would take 38% more effort than I. In that case, Scorigans would worsen by 72%. You do agree that it's most inefficient, don't you? Oh my god, Sindel is, is fee! Oh my god! As a result, if you were to take this boy in my, on my place, you would be ahead 63% in terms of overall efficiency. You do understand, don't you? It's only for efficiency's sake. I'll be going now. Why do I always get the feeling that I've been had? Oh well, if I don't beat you here, I won't be fulfilling my duties. Don't hold the grudge for this. Alright, fine. I'll take you on no problem. This guy has no shadow Pokemon, just destroy him. Just wreck his face. Or wait, does he have a shadow Pokemon? I actually forget now. I don't think he does. If I'm not mistaken. And yeah, we'll find out soon enough. Either way oh, I forgot to switch on my Pokemon, didn't I? Arg. Alright, fine. Fine. No big deal. I'll just switch him out next time, right? Actually, I think I probably got it right there. Alright, do your worst. You're just gonna go ahead and... Actually, just, uh, just Ice Cream Cacnea and how do we just hand attack the Hound Huntail? This should be good, right? Should be good. Considering. No, that did Jack Squat. Okay, well, um... Crap. Ice Cream should be able to kill Cacnea. That wouldn't be an issue. Right? Oh yeah, apparently someone pointed out that this uh, do that this little seal here is actually adamant. Well, screw me, okay? At least it's, you know, not getting hurt by the rock tomb. Now the speed is lowered. Awesome, that's great. Thunder Punch. Oh, okay, that is special in this generation, but... Huh. Didn't really expect to see that, but alright, whatever, I'll take it. You know what? Just... Yeah, it's Ice Beam, whatever. Actually, no, better yet, fight. I'll help in hand the Hound Doom, and you can go ahead and fin finish off the Hunt Tail. Perfect, sounds good. Then we can take out that Hunt Tail, and I have no super effective thing against me, except that Cacnea, which could probably do like an Absorb on my Dugong. Or my Seal, rather. I keep on extinguishing it as a Dugong because of its nickname, but that's kind of my own fault so far, but whatever. Hunt Tail faints, it goes down. Level 27, sweet! Alright, I'm going to level 27 now, very nice. Trying to learn bite. Oh yeah, she'll be just give her a faint attack, which has 100%, which has perfect accuracy, and have one that has lower accuracy. I mean, sure, it could have a possibility to flinch, but I think overall, because of all the sand attack and crap you're gonna find in this generation, I'll just stick with uh, faint attack. No, I don't want to learn bite. 
They have the same base power, so it doesn't really matter anyway. Teddy Ursa! Yeah, I think it's gonna go down and fire. Literally. Why not just go for Absorb or whatever else that Cacnea does? You even have any grass move? I mean, just use it on Seal. I mean, I don't see why you don't. Whatever, just Ice Beam the Cacnea and then Houndoom. Kill the Teddy Ursa with fire! Kill it with fire! Burn! Burn! Overkill! Fatality! And it goes down! Level 28. All right. Hopefully my level. Hopefully I'm you know not mistaken and my levels aren't you know somehow skewed now. Whatever. Now he's gonna send in Coughing, which still is not a Shadow Pokemon because he has no Shadow Pokemon like I said before. But that Coughing will definitely go down from a Fire Blast. No problem. No surprise at all. These Pokemon would actually be somewhat of a threat if I didn't actually completely you know what's the word? Save my Pokemon. I'll Surf and then Fire Blast. And I say I mean train him in the last episode, but ah, oh, darn it. Oh well, at least Surf will do a good amount of damage. At least it should. Maybe, yeah, it is Stab, so... It's, it's Coffee Special Attack is kind of weak, and eh, it doesn't quite kill it. What's going to go for Poison Gas? Oh, Shock Wave. Alright, that's, um... Right Pokemon this time. Congratulations! Wow, okay. Too bad it's a little too little too late now, and... No, it's Faint Attack the Coffee. Just kill it. If he attacks you, kill it. I don't need to use the Fire Blast to overkill it. There you go. Bye, Coughing. See ya. It goes out in a puff of smoke. Ha <laughs> ha uh, ha. Uh, yeah. What? I lost? I can't go back to the lair like this. Sure you can. He'll just be punched and bullied by everyone you see. But And he disappeared. Where did he go? Whatever. Can you walk out any slower, guy? I watched you battling those downright bizarre people. You're some kind of tough, aren't you? Huh? Me? I just happened to stumble across the ship, so I made it my home. So, you're a bum, essentially. You know, there's plenty of food and all. I have to admit, there's certain things that bug me, but nothing's perfect in life. I've got to admit, I'm glad this that weird bunch is gone. I owe thanks to, for that, at least. You must be tired after that battle, right? You can rest up at my place. At the, it's in the warehouse. Alright, cool. Uh, for place to rest, at least. So I Pokemon are healed. That's always good. Well, do you get some decent rest? You're free to use that bed whenever you feel tired, okay? By the way, I've got this favor to ask of you. See, every so often I hear these odd noises coming from deep in the ship's hole. I think there's someone sulking around down there, but it's too creepy for me to go take a look-see. How about you go look for me? Sure, why not? Thank you kindly. That noise has been really eating my nerves lately. I can hardly sleep now. So when you're done investigating, I need you to tell me if you found anything. Alright, let's go and make sure my Pokemon are good here. Uh, what level? Let's see. Oh yeah, let's see. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put Claymore. Ah, Claymore and Frenzy in the front now. Because they're both level 27, they both need training. So good. Houndim could just die, you know, and fire like it. Takes, ooh, item. Battle CD 18. Alright, that works. I believe that's the only one, battle seed that's in here, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see here. Ooh, more block puzzles. Yay, I love block puzzles. Alright, now for this, you have to actually jump there. Go around. Push this one here. Don't push it all the way up against the wall. Just push it once, and that's it. You don't want to push it all the way up against the wall. But I'll have to get in this room and re-enter it. There's a firestone there. So, oh, that's where you get that one. Okay, that's useful. Go in there. Push that. Push that there. So that we can get the last item you need. And continue on from there. So let's see what's in this box right here. Peepee -pee up. There are two of them in there, so that's very useful. I'll use those later. Go down here even more. And you'll see another item there. So, more block puzzles. Although it's not really so much a puzzle since it's pretty much self-explanatory. Just put the shot there. Push it out of here. Come on. You can do it! Push the box with all your strength! You're so strong! Just push it! Push! Yeah! Success! Woot! That's not how I can make that excited. Darn it all! See, that's what I'm talking about. 
You don't you don't want to rush. I have to go through all this again. To push it back. <sighs> all right. Don't rush. Just easy does it. Easy. Actually, that was a little faster than I wanted to, but that works. Max Ether. That's that's cool. That works. Push. Push. Yay! We can continue on. Yeah, this is a lot less exciting than what it was actually looked like from the outside, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. But uh, okay, this one here. All right, now be careful. This one here is kind of tricky. What you want to do is you want to take this box, push it over here, and actually you want to push this box, push it a little bit more, push it here. Now take this box, push it there, and wait, oh yeah, have to go up, around, plop down there, push. Push, push. I feel like I'm, you know, giving childbirth right now. And there we go. All right. So go ahead and grab this. I grab this slowly. Yellow flute. So now you can stop your Pokemon out of confusion instantly. So that's always nice. In fact, that's the only that's the only flute that's actually in any of the console games. Just so you guys know. And you find TM35, which I will show you, is actually Flamethrower. Very, very awesome. Yes, I would love to teach that. None of Pokemon could learn it, of course. Except that my uh, Hound Door, Hound Doom, which is going to get replaced anyway. So no point to really teach it that. And then you see Bonds lie there. Oh, is that? All right. You want to be real slow. Don't want to hurt it. Don't want it to get shocked and run away now. Just real slow. If you run too fast, it just runs away. Easy. Easy. Aha. Of course, this always happens all the time. Every time you get near it, you get that little email. Meteors, I would like to write a novel featuring you as the main character. Please let me interview you. I have a good feeling about this story. I might be generous with my thanks. Thank you. So we get interrupted with an email and start by the mail's message noise. The Pokemon fled somewhere. And if you want a hint of where it's at, well, just go ahead and... Oh, there's an item there as well. You get leftovers. Very nice. He actually leaves that behind. I'm going to go ahead and equip that right away. Right now. Let's go all the way down here. Leftovers give to... Let's see here. Who should I give it to? Eh, I'll give it to Claymore. Why not? Yeah, I'll switch that. Why not? Yeah, left. I think that's probably the bulkiest Pokemon on my team. So definitely, definitely gonna take advantage of that leftovers there. I mean, there's a Pokemon I'm getting later that's a little bit that's bulky as well. And I felt darn it, I can't even push that block that way because there's a metal brick there. <sighs> All right. So, what you want to do is go head back out, all the way back up, and talk to the guy. Meet you back there in a sec. Oh, hey, so how was it? Was there anything down there? Meteors described the Pokemon that was deep in the ship's hole. I see, so it was a Pokemon down there. I'll sleep better at night knowing that. Is that right? So it was a Pokemon that a girl asked you to find, and they say it got away? Well, this place isn't a very welcome place for wild Pokemon to survive in. Why don't you try looking for it in places where wild Pokemon are apt to gather? Anyways, I'll be headed off from home now. After all, you've solved what worries I had. I'm I'm surely in debt, indebted. Come see me whenever you like. You're always welcome. So yeah, those little pokey spots, that's where you catch it at. So, whatever. Just get out of here and leave. Alright. Just head out here. Head back down the stairs. Yep, we're on our way out. Gonna continue on our little quest. Our quest of justice and tr- They can't just- F Fine, okay. They're trying to just give me to waste more time than I needed to. Then you go out here. What the? Hold it! No one gets past here. I'm 
waking of Team Snagib. It wouldn't hurt you to remember that. It won't hurt you for to get his name either. Silence! Huh? You, you don't have a clue about who Team Snagib happens to be, do you? Back in the old days, grown men shook when they heard our name. Sheesh. But that's alright. We get back to Snaggy Pokemon just like the old days and terrify the world again. And we'll do that by using your Snag Machine. Whoops. I know you're a great battler, but I'm not having any of that. Gloom, release your sleep powder and send this kid off to Betty Bye. What? A smart group? What? Instead of battling, you're actually using other means to take down the victim or the intruder? Whoa! What? That didn't exist in a Pokemon game. Yeah, ha, ha, the snag machine is mine. Quick, let's get back to the hideout. Aye, right, can you imagine how happy Gonzap's going to be with us? Aww, he's so sad because he doesn't have a snag machine. Hi, are you awake now? Looks like you had a rough time of it. Are you alright? That bunch I saw, weren't they Team Snagum? Why Why would they want to pick a fight with you? We just explain what had been happening. Is that right? So that's been happening in the world at large. Team Snag is a bunch of crooks and thugs. They were snagging Pokemon from people with Cypher's help. I hadn't heard about them for the last couple of years, so I figured they fell apart. I guess not, eh? Anyways, it seems to me you need to get back to that thing they took from you. I think they took off north, chasing after another bunch of strange characters. Maybe you ought to join the chase, too. It's right around here on the north side of Echo Canyon. That's an odd name. Alright. Uh, that's it. No other details? Alright, that works. I'll, I'll gladly just go ahead and just leave. I'll meet you there. Alright, so heading out from ASS Libra, we're going to be heading into this mysterious place in the desert. What can it be? What is this mysterious building? Though I must say, this place is just awesome looking. I love the design of this area. In fact, it's one of the it's one of my favorite parts in the game, actually. I mean, just look how awesome that looks. It's like a cybernetic pyramid thing. We've been sodded, so there's no point in hiding anymore. Who are we? We're Team Snagum. Team Snagum? Can't rightly say I know them. See, he doesn't know either. It's bringing tears to my eyes. Hey, we should go. We should leave this stuff up to Gonzap. Be quiet. We finally managed to track down Cypher, haven't we? We're not just leaving now. Hey, you big lunk. We have business in that building. Stand aside if you don't want to get hurt. Lunk! You're calling their dashing and terrific Mr. Zook a lunk? How dare you! Girl, you're not getting away with this. Huh, let's see how good this battle goes. You can see, like, another... Un we haven't seen one of these animated battles since, uh, the very beginning, almost. So just sit back and relax and watch the battle unfold. Zangoose versus Oddish. And the Oddish is level 27. This thing's level 28. Can you say completely owned? Yes. That's, uh, that's pretty much how it worked. Team Snagum might have lost the Thug Zook. No money? Oh, how could he get any money? I got the short end of that one. Ah, darn it. See what I'd say if we would have just waited for Gonzap, this wouldn't have happened. Wake must have reached the hideout by now and given that sign machine to Gonzap. Hey, you want more of where that came from? Ugh. We'll pull back and regroup. Let's get back to the hideout. Run! You're not running off with them. You've got guts, but huh? Wait a second, you're not brought to us at Gideon Port. What are you doing here? You're nothing but bad news. Ever since I saw you, I've had nothing but the worst luck. First at Gideon Port, some guy challenged me to a battle out of the blue and probably stomped me flat. Then Gorigan gave me one of my major dressing down for showing off Shadow Pokemon without permission. Because of that, he made me stand guard here as punishment. There's one thing I can't figure out, though. How would Gorigan ever find out about me anyway? Uh, remember that is gaming royal. Does I'm a flat in you. All right, let's see what you got, Thug Zook. I, now we can actually fight this guy. We, which makes me mad, because he sent out a Zanko, which is a shadow Pokemon, but we can't do anything because we don't have our precious capture device. So sad face. We have to defeat it right now. So, oh well. 
Go Claymore and Frenzy! Yes, we know, we know. It's a shadow Pokemon. I can't catch it though, which just makes me sad face, but oh well. Let's go ahead and uh I'll sign even the Zangoose, why not? Frenzy, just thunder the dodo and get that thing out of the way real quick. Laser! Zap! Super effective! Carvana! Oh boy, that's a great choice of a Pokemon there. How much will Shadow Rush do from the Zanku? It should probably do a lot. Oh! Dang! That's beast! That is... That is incredible damage! Wow, um, that's gonna be fun to take down. Okay. That's not good at all. That's, that's really, really not. Okay. Well, let's just, uh, let's just aerial ace the Zangoose. You know, just get rid of that Zangoose right out of the way. Just get rid of that thing. Yeah, I'm sure an aerial ace could probably finish off that Zangoose, no problem. Oh, it outsped my Firo. That's not good. That's never a good sign. At all. And that didn't even kill it. Man, that thing's beast. Water pulls. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh. Okay, give me some of that Pokemon. I'll take that. I'll gladly take that. Alright, so let's go ahead and just use Aerial Ace on Carvana. And Frenzy, you can go ahead and use Bite on Zangoose. Since you outspeed it and kill it off. Man, that, that, that Zangoose is powerful. Dang, that, that thing's beasting it up. I don't remember it being that much of a problem when I fought it the first time. Oh, actually, that's not true. I almost lost to this guy when I didn't train it the, um, the, uh, that pre-gym thing. Whatever, I almost, I almost lost to this guy, which is actually pretty sad. Which is why I'm saying at this point, whoa, overkill. Actually, I think that was probably just enough kill, if anything. I don't think Aerial Ace would normally kill it. Sev Viper and Relicant. That's right, he has a full six Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. So this, no, five. He has five Pokemon. There we go. Okay, Death Row, just Aerial Ace, the Relicant. No, D no. Aerial Ace, the Viper. And you could go ahead and hit Relicant and hope you hit, please. No, sad face. Okay. Well, so much for that idea. But that actually did a pretty good amount of damage to that thing. Dang. Of course you get Jolteon. Of course. In that case, which one should I send in? I think I'll send in my Shift Tree, actually. Yeah, I'll send in Wispy Woods since it's the only Pokemon that's actually keeping on my team for later, so why not? Rock Tomb. Alright. My speed fell, that's not that's not good. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and aerial ace this a viper. Wish we would could just fake out the relicant in the meantime. Just just for now. That could maybe like maybe one or two damage. A good one or two damage in fact. But that aerial ace will definitely, definitely take out the viper. And it flinched. Alright, so let's go ahead and just, uh, whatever, just aerial ace that thing, whatever, and just use Giga Drain. Giga Drain will kill that thing, no problem. Aerial ace should do maybe a good, like, 5 damage. Pretty close, pretty close to 5 damage. Might even be 5 damage, judging by the HP. Any missed Rock Tomb, that works, I'll take that. Give me your power! Your power, your strength, your everything, give it to me! Sweet, that works. Well, the cans fainted, and you are uh, you are all out of usable Pokemon. You fainted or something on those lines. But this can't be happening. You're just some kid. How could I, the mighty circus, be by some kid? Because you fluked out. You only won because you got lucky. That's got to be the answer. I won't battle you again. If you win by a fluke again, my reputation will be taken a beating. 
So, you can't pretty much go past that point. What you want to do is get an email here. This is Suck of ONBS. Meteor, something's come up. Your help is urgently needed. Please come and see me at ONBS in Pyrite Town as soon as possible. Well, you heard the guy. Let's head over there real quick. Alright, well, Suck's in here, but before we do that, let's go ahead and I want to show off something. Now, you notice I got the Ice Beam TM earlier. And as we already know, our seal already learned that when it got purified. So, I'm actually going to be teaching this to Claymore here. So, let's go ahead and get rid of that for an Ice Beam. Let's see what Mimic could learn. Um, let's just get rid of Mud Slap for now. I mean, that, there's not really any point to really learn that at the moment. Um, yeah, I mean, sure it's Stab, but it's really not powerful Stab. So let's get rid of it for now. So there we go. Learn Mud Slap and it learned Ice Beam. A much more viable move. Much more useful. Now, the Flamethrower, I tried to see if I could teach it to another Pokemon here. See, because... Pokemon that we're going to be knowing already has Flamethrower off the bat. I might teach it this. No, I'm not going to teach it to that guy. Whatever. But uh, Flamethrower is just sitting there for why not. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Meteors, I'm so glad you're here. I've been waiting for you. Huh? What happened to your left arm? Weren't you wearing the sign machine on it? Meteors explained what happened. I see. It was Team Stagum's doing. That's not surprising that they wanted your stock machine. Up to five years ago, Team Stagum was in a partnership with Cypher. But when they'd lost their stock machine, Cypher gave them up as a lost cause. I thought Team Stagum just folded after that. They must have spotted your stock machine somewhere. Oh my. I'll start investigating Team Stagum right away. I'll let you know as soon as we discover anything. Oh right, I completely forgot about this email message I received. You see, OMBS got ta contacted by someone who claimed to have fled from Cypher's base. We debated sending out a news team immediately, but there's no guarantee that it won't be a trap or another risky situation. I hate to impose, but can you go and investigate for us, Meteors? Sure. Thank you. We know that you can be entrusted with this, Meteors. The man who contacted us is named Hordell. He said he'll be at the outskirts stand. The outskirts stand is to the east of Fennec City. You can't miss it. We're depending on you. We'll investigate Team Stagum while you're gone. Alright, so. Uh, I think we're pretty much done with this episode, judging by the time we're, limit time we're at right now. So... I'm actually going to end that off there, and we'll actually go to the snag, not the snag, I'm going to the, uh, uh, the outskirts stand next time, so we'll see you guys then.